Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hi. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Welcome back, guys, to another video conference. We are starting basically this week. I hope you had a good day today, right? At your work, in your house. Guys, I hope you had a good day. So we're going to continue as part of the process, right? Discussing, uh, you know, like the main topics that we're going to be following up throughout uh, this week. So but starting with, uh, you know, like the class time. So how was your, your, your weekend, guys, or your day? How was it? Was it good? Was it difficult? Was it not that good? How was it? I would like to listen. Excellent day. Ah, you got an excellent day? That's good to hear. Okay, that's perfect. What about the rest? Los demás? How was your 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 day or your weekend, guys? I go even in I your good. teacher. I I wanted it. to let you know this was a super a uh, good uh, weekend. Ah, wow, that's nice. Even though I had to go to work, but <laughs> really commonly, so we had to go to work. Nah, man, that's How good. was your weekend, Mister? Ah, uh, a little bit complicated on Saturday, as I said before. I worked the whole day. The only day I had a, like a day off that I don't work it was yesterday on Sundays. But it's still, though, I mean, it's a little bit complicated because, I mean, I am in charge of doing the, you know, like the 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 house chore. I mean, wash the clothes and everything in the house, take care of my baby. So actually, it's not like a, a day to rest, you know. <laughs> we still got to work. I get, I get it because the same happens to me, my friend. So I think you are married. So as was I was listening to you, that's what yeah. I I understood. <laughs> yeah, man. <That's> now, <laughs> now that we are married, man, life is is completely different. <laughs> we got more responsibility. Yeah, we got more responsibility. Yes, that for sure. Yeah. Okay, guys. I do the so, same like you. So I really I couldn't do. I couldn't say anything. Yeah, I couldn't say anything new thing because i did the same like you i had to go i had to go to war on saturdays and sunday i had to do the same like you do the laundry or all of the whole shorts that's completely uh, it's, it's a completely tiring work yeah I because mean, you all of we hope all of we hope to get home to rest to take a rest but it it's it, that kind of thing it doesn't happen in our in our life yeah in our cases we we have more more responsibilities at home maybe exactly. more than one people more than one person here is alone and they don't have to do uh, all of that thing they are la maybe they are laughing right now about us but what can we do <laughs> exactly right what can we do but to continue to continue with this <laughs> yeah okay great people so let's start over with the attendance list just to start with tonight's topic uh let me see by the way selena are you there selena hi hi i was checking your your text selena and i will help you up on that after the class, okay? I will text you back after the class to tell you what to do uh, on that activity, okay? No, it's doing that. Okay. Uh, yeah, después de la clase le voy, a, le voy a explicar cómo tiene que hacer, okay? Con lo que me mandó. Vaya, está bien, Tisha. 
Okay, okay, perfect. Okay, so let's start over. Uh, Alfredo Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Ana Maria. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Brenda Angelica. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Karen Beatriz. Karen, is Karen here? Mm -mm -mm. All right, so apparently she's not here yet. Selena Janet. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Clara Marina. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Cristian Eduardo. Present teacher. Okay, very good. David Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. David Armando. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, Denis Gerardo. Denis Gerardo. Okay, so I guess he's not here yet. Uh, Diego Rodolfo. Diego, Diego, no, right, so it's not here yet. Uh, Erika Michel. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Uh, Fatima Laura. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Um, Gabriela Margarita. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez, you there? Mm, okay, so it seems so like she's there, but maybe she's busy. Uh, Griselda Jamilet. Here. Okay, perfect. Guillermo Josué. Present. Okay, very good. Jaime Vladimir. Jaime here. Okay. Uh, Jenny Marisol. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Jose Roberto. Presente. Okay, very good. Uh, Jocelyn Abigail. Present. Okay, very good. Mm, Rafael Ernesto. Well, all right, it's not here. Roberto Antonio. Present. Okay, uh, Sonia Guadalupe. Present. Okay, excellent. Walter Manuel. Walter, is Walter here? No, okay, so it's not here. Yanira Isabel. Estaba trabajando. Ah, okay, perfect. Present. Okay, good. Thank you for letting me know that, Mr. And the last one, Yuri Magdalena. Apparently, a couple of you are as a listener uh, tonight, so probably that's the reason why you Perfect. guys. Okay, Yuri. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So, guys, we are going to start with tonight's topic. All right, give me one second. But before starting with, you know, like a couple of activities that we got, if we have time, I would like to uh, show you the topic that we are going to be discussing tonight. Give me one second. I would like to show you in a short presentation 
the topic that we were supposed to be working on the manual, but I brought you here like a little bit detailed, uh, the uh, structure about how to do, how to create positive statements, negative statements, and just no questions using this structure, guys. So the main topic that we are going to be discussing tonight, it's going to be simple past. For what situations, guys, do we use the simple past? Can somebody tell me in what situations can we use the simple past? What do we use the simple past for? When we want to tell a history or we, we want to talk about, about the past. Okay. Generally, okay. that means that. Okay, thank you, Robert. All right, somebody else? You guys have an, might have an idea? So just keep this in mind, guys. We use the simple past to talk about activities that we did in the past that now doesn't exist or is not relevant, okay? So in this situation, we use this structure. Now I brought you this short presentation because uh, I consider it's a little bit like in a clearer way how to explain these, uh, you know, like situations. So check this out. This is like a short definition. I brought you here for you about this structure. Jenny, can you please help me out reading that short definition? Jenny, can you please help me out reading the, the short definition about the simple past? It used to talk about action in the past. Mm, okay. All right. There you go. Thank you. It was pretty weird. I think it's, it's got issues with the internet. It uses us to talk about actions in the past, right? That now it doesn't exist or they don't exist. Now, let's start with the structure in affirmative statements. So this is basically the structure, guys, that we generally use, right? When creating sentences in simple past, especially if we are applying affirmative statements, okay? So we got it like this. You have the subject. Remember that the subject is any pronoun or proper noun. Like for example, Let's suppose in the pronouns I said, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, or you can use a proper noun like Clara, like David, right? Roberto. So in this situation, those are considered a subject. And then you got the verb in the past, right? The verb that indicates the action that you guys did in the past. And then you have a short complement, right? What do we use the complement for? We use the complement to make the sentence or what we want to say more specific, right? So let's take a look at a couple of examples that we got in here. Ana Maria, could you please help me out reading the first example? What? Uh, example number one. I went to the party. Uh, okay, that's that's an extra example, right? Okay, thank you, by the way. Uh, Ana Maria, are you there? I worked last weekend. Okay, thank you. So check check this out, guys. I worked last weekend. So in this case, in this situation, if you see the verb work is in the simple past. Okay, it's in the simple past. So that's why you got the action in the past, right? Now, 
we got the second example in here. Uh, Jocelyn, can you please help me reading the second example? She studied in English. Okay, so in this case, she studied English, right? Thank you, Jocelyn. Okay, so the verb study there is in simple past, right? To demonstrate that the action was done in the past. Okay, so we got another one here. Christian, help me read in this one, mister. Maria sent a letter. Okay, so in this case, right, Maria sent a letter. Very good. So we got this one. And we got the last one in here. Uh, let me see. David Romero, could you please help me out reading this example? You went to the cinema? Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's correct. You went to the cinema. Let's remember that went is the past form of the verb go, right? So in this context, guys, you have to remember to in order to create the simple past, you have two categories of verbs that you can use, right? So we got two categories of verbs. What are those categories of verbs? Okay, check this out. In the English language, you got two categories of verbs, as I said. You got regular verbs, okay? Regular verbs, and you got irregular verbs okay these are like two categories if you ask me teacher which category is uh, is easier to create sentences in the past and i will tell you the easier category is regular verbs why regular verbs because on regular verbs you got three forms of a verb in simple past for Creating sentences in simple past using regular verbs, you have to understand that most of verbs finishes in ed, i, ed, and simply d. These are the endings, okay, of a verb in simple past when it comes to regular verbs. For example, check this out. Verbs that ends in ed, you got work in order to create the simple pass of work you got you got the base form and in here you just include ed and you got worked simple past now simple present you got for example uh play what is play you got two play it right you got play two all right you got two definitions for the verb play jugar or when it comes to a musical instrument tocar right you got two definitions for the verb play so the simple pass of the verb play you got here you just include ed and you got played right that's like jugué right simple pass now if you see both verbs finishes in ed to create the simple past. Now, how to create a verb that finishes in ed or ied in this case? Check this out, guys. Tenemos la otra categoría. Cuando termina en ed or ied in English. When did that happen? O cuando sucede eso? When we have a verb that finishes in consonant, Check this out. Consonant plus Y. When you have a consonant plus Y, you eliminate I and include I, E, D. For example, study. Study. Si observan el verbo study, la final... La final, la palabra final, ok, las, las dos letras finales, ok, termina en consonant plus y. 
right? Consonante más Y. What happened in this case? In simple past. Do you want to make this verb in simple past? Tenemos hasta acá. Eliminamos la Y. Ok, eliminamos la Y. Colocamos I de puntito. Y agregamos ED. And we got now the simple past. Study, study. With D sound at the end. Study. All right. Another example. Yeah, you got try. For example, try. What does try mean? It significa try, guys. Do you know this verb? Intentar. Try means probar. intentar or probar. Okay, very good. So in this case, if you want to use this verb in the past, you're going to say tried like this. Aquí no se le agrega ed. Se le tiene que eliminar la y y agregar i ed. Right? Because of this rule. Consonant plus y. Okay? Pero se preguntarán, ¿pero todo verbo puede funcionar así? No, no todo verbo. Esto solo aplica para verbos que terminan en y, pero antes de la y va una consonante. ¿Ok? Cuando un verbo termina en y y va una vocal antes de la y, no aplica. Como en el caso de play que tenemos arriba. So you see, you got play, played. Ahí solo se le agrega ed. Right? We got to keep this on mind, guys. And now, we got the last structure. When a verb finishes in D, cuando solo se le agrega D al verbo para hacerlo pasado. You got the verb, for example, complete. Todo verbo regular que termine en E, para hacerlo pasado, solo se le agrega una D. Like in this case, you got complete. What is complete? What is complete, guys? All right. In this context, complete means completar. Okay? That's what it means. So, in this case, you got the verb completed. Yeah, completed. Solo se le agrega la D. Si pueden observar acá, solo le agregamos la D. And we have the verb in the simple past, right? Completed. So these are the three forms, guys, how you can use these this, uh, regular verbs. Son las tres reglas que ustedes eh, tienen que manejar, right? Cuando se le agrega ed, a la mayoría de verbos regulares se les agrega ed. Cuando un verbo termina en consonante más y, Ahí es en pasado, se le elimina la Y y se coloca IED. O cuando un verbo termina en vocal, en el, de preferencia E. Ahí, ¿qué sucede? A, ah, se le agrega simplemente una D. And you got it in simple past. So, basically, this is what you guys have to remember. What happened on the other hand with the irregular verbs? Aquí viene lo mm, un poco complicado. With irregular verbs, guys, la única manera que tenemos es memorizar las formas. All right? Tanto presente como pasados. Why? Because these kind of structures, porque acá no se les agrega ed. Right? So in here, the structure changes completely. Acá la estructura cambia completamente. Right? For example, tenemos el verbo, uh, let me see. Go. So in this case, if you want to create this verb into the simple past, you got went. For example, if you got do, everybody knows what is do, right? Hacer. So what is the past form of do? In this case, did. All right? If you see, the structure changes completely. Entonces, acá la estructura cambia completamente. You got the verb have, for example, which means tener. So, what is the past form of have? If you see, you got have, right? It changes completely, 
right? You got had. Oh, cortado. Okay, guys, are you listening to me? Uh, like, like with the interference. Eh, me pueden escuchar bien o eh, hay algún tipo de interferencia? Me escuchan cortado or something like that, guys. Por rato sí, se escucha cortado. Yo... Se escucha sí, cortado. Sí, yo lo escucho cortado por momentos. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh, cuando me estén escuchando así y algo no esté quedando claro, por favor, enciendan su micrófono y, y díganme, ok. Eh, que vuelva a repetir esa parte que yo con gusto lo hago. Ok. Yeah, I think it's, it's because in here it was raining. Es porque creo que acá hace, hace ya. Un par de minutos creo que va a llover. Está bastante feo acá por esta zona. That's the reason why I got bad internet. Okay, so continuing with this, guys. So this is like the, the, the way how we got, all right, this structure. For example, if you got fall, for example, fell is the past. If you got fight, so you see, Fault, the past. Entonces, estos verbos, por lo general, nada más es de memorizarlos, right? De constantemente practicarlos para que poco a poco se vayan eh, quedando, digamos, ya en nuestra, en nuestra uh, memoria, por así decirlo, right? Because these ones are a little bit complicated. Uh, I think I got a list of these verbs. Creo que tengo una lista de estos verbos que me gustaría enviárselos. Just for you guys uh, to have it in there. Give me one second. I think I got that list. Uh, I think it's really necessary for you guys to get to know this ones mostly. Oh yeah, I got it in here. Just give me a second. I'm gonna send it to you. Les voy a enviar una lista de estos verbos que son como los más complicados. Uh, ok, Walter. Eh, son como los más complicados. Eh, más que todo por su forma pasada y pasada participio. Acá les acabo de enviar una lista de estos verbos que son los con los que más se tiende a tener, se tiende a tener problemas. Para que los tengan, ahí están con cómo se pronuncia y asimismo la traducción de cada uno de ellos. Ahí está la gran mayoría de verbos irregulares. That's just for you guys to have it in, in mind, okay? Just see if you want to, to, to take a look at it. Okay, so let's move on this, guys. I'm going to erase this part because I need to move on. Okay. Okay, now continuing with this. So we were discussing the simple past with affirmative statements. Now we got the structure for the simple past in negative statements. In here, we need an auxiliary verb. Acá es donde necesitamos un auxiliar, right? And generally the auxiliary verb that we use is did together with the word not. Acá tengo ya unido did plus not. And you got didn't, right? So in this case, guys, you got the subject plus didn't plus verb in base form plus the complement, right? Acá, como ya llevamos el auxiliar didn't, el verbo ya no necesita ir en pasado. Right? So in here, guys, the verb goes in base form, right? In the original form. So, for example, take a look at this one. Clara, could you please help me out reading the first example? I, I did, did I send didn't. the resume. Okay, I didn't send the resume. The resume, okay? Resume in this case, guys, means... 
resume. Okay, thank you, Clara. So in this case, resume means curriculum, right? That's what resume means in this case, okay? Just for, for the ones who don't know this uh, word, resume means curriculum in this case. I didn't send the resume. So if you say, guys, you got didn't, but you got the original form after didn't, you got the original form of the verb, right? And that's like, ah, I mean, no envie el curriculum. Now, we got the second example. Fatima Laura. Let's read it, please. You didn't understand the topic. Okay, thank you, Fatima. So you see, in this case, guys, you got didn't plus the verb in the base form, right? Ah, you didn't understand the topic, right? So this action is in the past. Okay, so we got the next one. Roberto Beltran, help me reading, please. Okay, she didn't listen to music. Okay, perfect. As it says, right? She didn't listen to music. So in this case, you got didn't, and that's the reason why you got the verb listen in the base form, right? Very good. Now let's move on here. Okay, so who else is as a listener? Let me see. Yo no me acuerdo quién es. Me dijeron que estaban como oyentes. Uh, Diego, are you there? Just here. Okay, perfect. Can you help me out with the example, please? Okay. Give me a moment, please. All right. I see the structure. Uh -huh. mm, maybe. I didn't work tomorrow. Mm, actually, since it is a structure, Diego, in simple past, instead of tomorrow, you have to say yesterday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yesterday. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, because it will be weird, like, ah, no trabajé mañana. <laughs> That's not like, it doesn't have, right? Okay, thank you, Diego. Yeah, yeah. Okay, very good. All right, guys, can you please help me out with an example, people? Para los demás, podrían ayudarme con un ejemplo about something, guys, that you didn't do in the past. Could you guys help me out? It's just for you, uh, if you are getting this. Teacher. Yes. Mm, podría ser como, uh, he didn't, um, the homework, don't, the homework, como él no, Eh, hizo la tarea. Ok, in this context. Le faltaría algo. Yes, en este, en este caso le falta el verbo, Isabel. In this case, it will be he didn't do the homework. He didn't do the homework. Oh, ok. Yes, ok, very good. Thank you for the example, Isabel. Ok, somebody else, guys. If you have an example, turn on your microphone and, and let's read it. He didn't eat the dinner. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Fatima. That's a good example. Uh, I didn't bat the dog yesterday. Uh, I didn't bat the dog. I didn't bat the dog yesterday. No, oh, okay. I didn't walk the dog yesterday. Okay, Yuri, thank you. That's okay. 
I didn't pray last night. Okay, Robert. That's a good example. Nice. I didn't shower in the morning. <laughs> Is that true, Clara? <laughs> okay. You, oh, okay, you can say, I didn't shower, okay? Mucho frío. <laughs> okay, okay. You can say, I didn't shower, o también lo puede decir en una frase compuesta. I didn't take a shower, all right? Que a veces suele ser como la más común. I didn't take a shower. All right, good example. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank okay, you. good. He didn't play soccer. Okay, very good. Thank you, Sonia. That's a good one. Uh, somebody else? I didn't call it to my boss. Okay. Uh, so in this case, Roberto, no sé si lo tiene de esta manera. Give me one second. I'm going to write it down here. No sé si es mi percepción, pero yo lo escuché. I didn't I didn't ah, sí? to my boss así ah, ay corríjame si me equivoco okay aquí yes. all right perfect acá lo único que hay que hacer Robert eh, es eliminar la ed y dejarlo así I didn't call to my boss. O en este, oh, caso, okay. en este caso también se le puede eliminar el to. Simplemente, I didn't call my boss. And that's correct. Okay? Yeah, because... Okay. All right. Yeah, porque después de didn't, el verbo tiene que ir en forma base, en su forma original, okay? Uh, let me see. Walter says I he didn't ride her motorcycle. Okay, good. That's a good one, uh, Walter. Thank you. Okay, uh, what about the rest? Alfredo, Christian, Jocelyn, Griselda, Ana Maria. So what's up, guys? I'm waiting for your examples. So I'm going to start with, with Christian. Christian, I know you got an example for me, Christian. Okay. I didn't eat my breakfast. Mm, okay. I didn't eat my breakfast. Simple as that. Thank you. Jenny. Do you have any example, Jenny? Ah, okay. Okay, I didn't wash my car. Okay, I didn't wash my car. Thank you, Jenny. That's a good one. Ana Maria? Teacher. Yes? I didn't go drink my show. I didn't? Ana Maria? Yo, yo, es que como la veo y con algo cortado. I didn't go shopping. Ah, ok. I didn't go shopping. Ok, very good. Thank you. So, Selena says I didn't clean my shoes. Ok, Selena, that's a good example. Thank you. Uh, let me see. We got Está a bien, one. Teacher. Yeah, that's correct. Thank you, Selena. All right. And we got Jocelyn. Yeah. Did you give an example, Jocelyn? Um, I didn't wake up late. Okay, very good. I didn't wake up late. My case would say, I mean, I didn't eat pupusas today. <laughs> that might be another, another example, right? Okay, and we got the last one. Alfredo, you're missing, mister. I haven't heard any example from you. Um... I didn't call 
my mom. Okay, I didn't call my mom. Thank you. That's a good example. Okay, perfect. Now, let's move on, people. Now that I know that you guys know what you're doing, let's move on this. Now, let's take a look at the simple past, but using questions, right? Specifically, just no questions. I didn't drink coffee yesterday. Ah, oh, man, that's a good one, Brenda. Thank you. I neither I, man. I didn't drink coffee yesterday, not even today. All right, simple pass with questions. And in here, we got a different structure. Take a look at the structure that we got here. So you got did plus the subject plus the main verb in base form plus the complement. So in here, you got a little bit different, right? The structure. Okay, great. So let's take a look in here, a couple of examples. Uh, let me see who can help me out on reading this one. Do, 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 do. Uh, Karen? Can you please help me out reading this question? Um, and did you um, um not to the end. <laughs> Ok, ok. ¿Y me podría ayudar a leer esta, esta pregunta que tengo en pantalla? Please. Ah, ok, ok. Uh, did you participate in the class? Ok. Did you participate in the class? All right. Good. Thank you. As it says, guys. Did you participate in the class? So we got a formula here just for a yes, no question. So what is the possible answer to this question? For example, check this out. If the answer is positive, you can say, yes, I did. I participated in the class. You see, ya que el verbo participate, después del yes, I did, va en pasado. ¿Por qué? Porque ya no llevamos didn't, ¿ok? O ya no llevamos did después del punto. So that's like, you know, like making the verb to become in the simple past, right? Yes, I did. I participated in the class. If the answer is negative, you got it this way, all right? It's this form. Roberto Guzman, can you please read it? Repeat, please. Se había cortado. Okay, can you help me out reading the example, the second answer? Okay. Where it says, no. No, I didn't. I didn't participate in the class. Okay, thank you. As you see, guys, in there you got, no, I didn't. That's a negative answer, right? And then you have, I didn't participate. Acá participate va en forma base. Why? Sencillo, va en forma base porque tenemos didn't antes. Recuerden que si llevamos did o didn't en la oración, ya el verbo no tiene que ir en forma pasada, sino en forma original o forma base. Right? And it happens in every structure. Check this uh, example. Uh, let me see who, who can help me out. Isabel, let's read, please. Teacher, solo una pregunta. ¿Es white o right? Right, right. Right, okay. Yeah. 
did you write the report? Okay, so, but in this case, with intonation, Isabel, did you write the report? Repeat again. Did you write the report? Okay, perfect. That's the way. Thank you. So you got to let that, right? Because you got did, then you have the verb write in the base form. So, again, two ways of answer. Check this out. You got in here the affirmative answer, right? So in the affirmative, you got Clara. Let's read. Yes, I did. I wrote the report. Okay, very good. Yes, I did. I wrote the report, right? Wrote, in este caso, es el pasado de write, right? So, in este caso, es un verbo irregular. ¿Por qué llevo wrote? Porque como no es negativo, no llevo did. Por lo tanto, el verbo por obligación tiene que estar en pasado, right? In past. Okay, now. And you got here the next example. But this one is negative, right? Jocelyn, let's read it, please. No, I didn't. I didn't write the report. Okay, very good. So as he says, no, I didn't. I didn't write the report. So you see, in here, you got didn't write, porque como ya llevamos did plus not, didn't. Es el auxiliar, right? Está haciendo la acción del pasado, por eso ya el verbo no necesita ir en pasado, sino que en su forma original. Okay? Very good. Right up to this, guys. I don't know if you have any question with these structures. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta con esta estructura? Or something that we have discussed up to now? O algo que hasta acá hemos visto y no hemos entendido. Do you guys have any question? No, everything okay? All right. Veo que todo está más que perfecto. All right, very good. Now, just to confirm this, guys, para confirmarlo, like, I love confirming this, como a mí me encanta confirmar si es cierto, right? Les voy a dar un minuto. Piensen. Piensen en una pregunta, ok? Escríbanla sin respuesta. With no answer. Solo la pregunta, ok? A yes, no question. Applying the structure. Luego les voy a decir qué vamos a hacer con esa pregunta. Solo escríbanla, ok? And then we are going to do a short activity before finishing the class with that question. It's just just for us to 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 practice. Write down the question and let me know when you finish. So I'm going to stop sharing this because this is the last uh, presentation. Let me know when you finish writing the question. You guys finished the question? Yeah. Go to the church history. Okay. ¿Qué vamos a hacer con esa pregunta? All right. No me la escriban en el chat, people. ¿Por qué? Porque esta pregunta la vamos a comenzar acá a preguntar. Uh, and I'm going to start with, uh, let me see. Alfredo, do you have your question? ¿Ya tiene su pregunta, Alfredo?
Hello. Do you have your question? Do you have your question? Did we had a meeting this morning? Okay. No me la va a preguntar a mí. Esa pregunta usted se la va a leer a Jenny Marisol. Jenny, quiero una respuesta, ya sea yes o no. Okay. Alfredo, repeat the question and Jenny will answer. Okay. Did we had a meeting this morning? Did we have a meeting this morning? Jenny? You can apply the structure, Jenny. I mean, the question is simple. Look, did we have a meeting this morning? This is the question, okay? So your answer is yes or no? Jenny, you got the microphone off. Yes, uh, yes, I did. Okay, in this case, you Have, will... um... yes, we did, porque aquí nos incluye a todos, Jenny. Sería, yes, we did. We did. Yes, we did. Have. All right. And in this case, you will say, we. ¿Cuál es el pasado de have, Jenny? Have. Ajá. We had. A meeting. Ajá. This morning. Excellent. And you got the answer. Very good. Thank you, Jenny. And thank you, Alfredo, for your question. Now, Jenny, read your question and Sonia Guadalupe will answer. Okay. Uh, did you speak Spanish? Okay. Did you speak Spanish, Sonia? Yes, I did. I huh? speak Spanish. I spoke because the the bird has to I be. Uh -huh. Yes. Perfect. I, I spoke Spanish. Excellent. Thank you, Jenny, for the question. Sonia, now read the question and Clara Marina will answer. Okay. Did you study in the house? Yes, I did study. ¿Cómo I, era la vuelta? I studied. <laughs> in the house. Es que se había cortado, teacher. Okay, Sonia, repeat the question. Okay. Did you study in the house? Yes. Yes, I did st study in the house. All right, it will be, yes, I did. I studied in the house. Like this, right? Gotta be like this, okay? Yes. Very good. Thank you, Sonia, for the question. And thank you, Clara. Now, Clara, read your question yes. and Christian will answer. Did, did you walk, walk in the park? Did you walk in the park, Christian? You had the microphone off, Christian. Yes, I did. I walked in the park. Okay, very good. Thank you, Clara, for the question. Now, Christian, 
Read your question and Roberto Guzman will answer. Okay. Uh, Roberto Guzman, did you work very late? Repeat, please. Did you work very late? No, I didn't. I didn't work it late. Uh, en este contexto, work va en forma original porque dijo didn't. I didn't work. Ok. Sí. All right. Solo iría worked o worked cuando fuera positiva. Cuando es positiva, ok. Very good. Thank okay. you, Christian, for the question. Now, Roberto, uh, read your question and Roberto Beltran will answer. Okay. Did you watch a scary movie? Okay. No, I didn't watch a scary movie. Okay, no, I didn't. I didn't watch a scary movie. Okay, very good. Thank you, Roberto, for the question. Now, Robert... Read yours and uh, uh, Fatima Laura will answer. Okay. Did you go to the church yesterday? No, I didn't go to the church. church. All right. No, I didn't. I didn't go to the church. All right. Thank you, Robert. Now, Fatima. Read your question and David Alberto will answer. David Alberto, did you receive the message? Okay. No, I didn't. I received the message. Okay, mister, it will be. No, I didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. Uh, I didn't receive the message, right? The message. Okay, very good. Thank you, Fatima, for the question. Now, David, read your question and David Romero will answer. Okay. Did you play basketball? All right, very good. No, I didn't not play basketball. Okay, no, I didn't. I didn't play basketball. Very good. Thank you, David. Now, David, read your question and Griselda will answer. And repeat and number. Uh, okay, yeah, you repeat. I mean, read your question and Griselda will answer your question. Oh, okay. Griselda, do you dance in the party? Did you, mister? Did you? No, I didn't. All right. Did you dance in the party? Uh, repeat the answer, Griselda. No, I didn't. I didn't dance in the party. Okay, very good. Thank you, David, for your question. Now, Griselda. Read yours and Ana Maria will answer. Griselda? Read the question. Did you go to the supermarket last weekend? Okay. Ana María. No le escuché. Repeat, please. Griselda, repeat the Did question. Did you go to the supermarket? Did you go to the supermarket that last weekend? No, I didn't. I didn't. Ajá. Ajá. To the super pack last week. Okay, very good. Thank you, Griselda, for the question. Thank you, Ana Maria, for the answer. Now, read your question, Ana Maria, and Isabel will answer. 
Isabel, do you drink coffee this morning? Yes, I did. Okay, yes, I did. I drank. Drank coffee in the morning. Okay, very good. Now, read your question, Isabel, and Jocelyn will answer. Did you go to work in the morning? Jocelyn? Yes, I did. I went to the work. I went to work. Okay, very good. Thank you, Isabel. Now, Jocelyn, read yours. And uh, let me see who, Judy will answer. Um, did you watch TV yesterday in the night? Okay. Judy, are you there? Okay, please. Repeat, please, Jocelyn. Did you watch oh, TV yesterday huh? in the night? At night? Um, yes. Yes, I watch TV in the night. Yesterday at night. Okay, Yuri. Now, read your question, Yuri. Uh, Yuri, le da su pregunta. Eh, Karen le va a responder. La... Did a Karen. Ajá. ¿A quién? Solo yeah, leo Karen. la, la cuestión. Yes. Karen, did you rest? Did you rest the last weekend? Mm, all right. Um. Yes, I would the weekend. I rested on the weekend. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Judy. Karen, read yours. And uh, Guillermo, let me see Guillermo if it is there, will answer. Two more people and we are out, people. Uh, uh, did you today and uh, no. we had dinner tonight uh, uh, that's not a question Karen for example did you have dinner tonight that would be a question did we Ah, okay. okay, very good. Did, did we have dinner tonight, Guillermo? I think Guillermo is not there. ¿Quién nos puede responder esta? Jaime, are you there, Jaime? Sorry, teacher, I cannot participate. Ah, okay, all right. No problem, let me see. Brenda, what about you? Are you there? Solo nos faltan tres más, all right. Hello? Can you answer this question, Brenda? Did we have dinner tonight? Yes. I did have dinner tonight. All right. In this case, it will be, yes, we did. We have dinner tonight, okay? All right. Because this is including us, everybody, right? Now, Brenda, do you have the question? Please, I want you to read the question and Selena will answer. Selena, I did like to play football. Ah. Uh, did you like to play softball? Yes. Okay. Selena? Yes, I 
who played the soccer. Okay, I think it was softball. But anyways, that's that's okay. That's still okay. Selena, read the last one. Usted va a leer y Gabriela va a ser la última. Le doy mi pregunta. Yes. Vamos a ver si está activa. Did you shower in the morning? Okay, did you shower in the morning, Gabriela? Or did you take a shower in the morning? No sé si Gabriela está ahí. Ok, creo que Gabriela no está ahí. Pero le voy a responder yo, Salina. Yes, I took a shower in the morning. Yeah, man, I took a shower in the morning. Yo sé que mi opuesto sería Clara, ¿verdad, Clara? You will say, no, no I didn't man. take a shower in the morning. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> Clara is smiling. All right, people. So this is going to be everything Roberto Beltran. Okay, Roberto, antes de irnos, eh, do you have problems to, get, to enter to the platform? ¿Tiene problemas para acceder a la plataforma? The problem is that I am into the platform, but I can't go or I can't enter to the main module. That is module number five. So I am in the module number four. Ah, you got just only module number four, but it yeah. doesn't appear the module number five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how can I how can I do to get and to okay. enter the next module. Okay, okay. No, it's gonna be the same thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write uh, down a, me a message to the support uh, people. Uh, for they to uh, activate the module to you, okay? By okay, okay, okay. thank you tomorrow. so much. All right, please. Yeah, uh, because I wanted to make, I wanted to do the homework. Okay, yeah, I didn't, by, I didn't perfect, perfect. By the way, people, para mañana ya sería de hacer eh, la tarea con relación al simple past, que teníamos terminando la sección one and two para mañana en relación a la plataforma. If you guys have any question or if you have any doubt, si tienen alguna pregunta o duda, al grupo, por favor. Y ahí les voy a saber responder, ¿ok? Roberto, okay, me quedo so con, con eso. Mañana voy a reportar para que se lo activen, ¿ok? So for you to get activated. Ok. Thank you, people, for uh, staying with me these extra minutes. I hope you have a, a wonderful night, and let's see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye, people. And if you can, continue working in the platform, please, all right? Bye-bye, guys. Thank you, sir. Bye, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right, yes? Yes. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, um, ¿Cuál era la tarea, eh, Selina, que me decía usted? Ah, de la dos, de la sección uno, la tarea, la tarea dos. Ok, very good. Tarea dos. Give me one second. I'm going uh, I'm gonna check on here. Are you talking about this one, Selena? Sección 1, ¿verdad? Aún no me carga, pero ya, ya va a ver. Uh, uh -huh. Sí. Ok, let me check. I'm just going to uh, explain how, how you can do it. Ok, uh, this, this is like the, uh, ok, aquí tenemos uno, right? You got a quiz on, over here. No, espérame. Este es el primer knowledge check, ¿verdad? En el cual tenían que ir seleccionando la tarea 2. Mm -hmm. Bueno, estos acá son material extra. 
para que usted pueda tener como más o menos igual una explicación corta sobre lo que se ha estado haciendo. That's an objective. And in here you got a short answer. Aquí tiene la otra. Vaya, acá básicamente esta es la tarea. Esta es la tarea 2. Eh, no sé si esta es, Selena. Sorry, Selena. I got, I got issues with the internet. Lo siento, estoy teniendo problemitas con el internet. Eh, le mencionaba, no sé si esta es la tarea que me menciona. Selena. Eh, en la dos. Sí, sí, esa, Ticha. Vaya, acá es, sí, esa. Vaya, acá es con relación al tema que estuvimos viendo la clase pasada, que acá son preguntas con uh -huh. how, tenemos how good, how long, uh -huh. how often, Right? Uh -huh. que son las que comúnmente incluimos. Y acá en la última, que no sé por qué me aparece uh -huh. eso. I don't got this one out. How well can you? Aquí le podemos colocar how well can you? Que se supone es la correcta. Vamos a ver. Ok. And you gotta let that. Yeah. Entonces acá es básicamente colocar estas preguntas en base a las respuestas que tenemos acá, ¿ok? Esto es con relación al tema que estuvimos discutiendo okay. en la clase pasada, ¿right? Que son preguntas con how. Entonces, es como tenemos que ir llenando en esta sección. Y si le agrega ese, el auxiliar, are you o do you? Mire, acá yo no entiendo por qué tiene can, pero la verdad es que voy a pasar el dato de por qué está acá. Tendría que ser how well do you. Pero bueno, eh, así es como aparece correcto, entonces sí. así póngalo usted. Sí. Ok. Ya las demás son do you, solo la primera es que es how good are okay. you. All right. Creo que en esa era la que tenía mayor sí, sí. dificultad. Es... Yo como no estuve en la clase, pero ajá, vi el video. Ajá. Creo que está antes de, de la... De... Ajá. Esta tarea y más o menos me oriente. Ah, man, that's good, that's good. Va, perfecto, entonces... Eh, hay cualquier otra duda que pueda tener, ahí me lo hace saber para poderle explicar, así mismo para los demás que están conectados, hay cualquier cosa, eh, háganmelo saber tanto en chat privado como en el grupo y así les, eh, se les puede ayudar, ¿ok? ¿Estamos ok, Selena? Hello. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Okay. Good night. Let's see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.